Hello everyone and welcome to the 46th episode of the Top 5 Weekly. In this series, each week we look at the most popular workshop creations on Steam. We analyze each one of the submissions, we discover their features and finally we test them out here in the world of Stormworks. Now, if you're enjoying these videos, comment below and let me know what else you'd like to see in any of my future videos. While you're there, don't forget that like and subscribe button and click the little bell icon to know about my upcoming content as soon as it gets posted. So all said, let's get straight into it and get started with the first creation of this episode. And getting started with the first creation of the episode, we have the Custom Wedge Memorial. This is a creation done by a content creator called Euron Wind. Now you guys know his work on the workshop already. He's been on a couple of the top five episodes. Now, as it says in the name, this is meant to be a memorial to the custom wedges that people have made via the XML blocks here in game. Now with these, obviously there has been obviously a whole bunch of uh, graphical issues and bugs uh, crashing, etc. because obviously people have gone and obviously modified the XML files, which weren't meant to be modified in the first place. So he's gone ahead and it seems like he's just built a memorial here just to showcase it. So I'm interested to obviously spawn this in, see what it's like, see what it looks like, uh, and just obviously pay homage to the custom wedges that we have here in game at the moment. And spawning in the first creation of the episode, you can see we have this memorial to custom wedges. Now, I'm actually not too sure um, if this is a custom wedge, I think it is, it has to be, because you can see there we have very, very sharp slope, um, which you don't see normally in game. As far as I can see, the rest of the base is just normal blocks. I could be wrong though, um, but as far as I'm aware, it is also normal blocks. He's also used some paint blocks here uh, and just a whole bunch of lights. Now, these things seem to be orbiting around the actual um, memorial here, and this memorial seems like it's it's just rotating so there must be some pivots and things inside there and some batteries and things that are going around but yeah really cool um obviously yeah definitely custom wages you can see there the graphical bug there on them uh, not properly rendering in so yeah really cool little memorial um obviously takes it one step further compared to what we saw last week with the steam um steam trophy uh this has really gone quite far and actually really cool uh to be honest let's just hope obviously that maybe uh in the future we will see some different new blocks in games so maybe some wedges and things uh who knows you know they might be coming sooner than we think uh we just obviously have to wait and see what the devs have got in store for us here in the future of stormworks but nice creation let's go ahead and let's move on to the next one of the episode and moving on to the next creation of the episode we have the tesla cybertruck this is a creation done by um i am steve i think so i could be pronouncing that wrong i do apologize um now this is meant to be a realistic interior with no mods at all cybertruck now quite a long list of features that he has inside here uh now this is meant to have a full detailed interior including a working touchscreen there's a fancy stomp animation there's a whole bunch of different things in here so i think let's go ahead let's spawn this in and see what it drives and how it looks like here in the world of stormworks but along with that we are also going to be spawning in the Tesla supercharger this is meant to be a just like a little base that you can spawn in or like a little re recharger um, pretty much it spawns in as a mission so it spawns in different locations uh, and you can go and recharge your actual Tesla truck with it so we'll spawn that in with the truck and we'll test both of them out at the same time and spawning in the next creation of the episode, well actually the next two, we have the Tesla truck and we have the supercharger. So we're going to check out the actual truck first, see what it's like, uh, and then we'll go back and we'll check out the charging station, see how that works too. Now the truck itself, um, not much going on really, we obviously have the base of the truck, um, looks like there's quite a bit of folding things that goes on to obviously get this. Uh, seems like some pivots and things going around, not much on the outside, seems like we have a back hatch where we can go and put some equipment and things in that's pretty cool goes and slides down uh we have a camera at the back here and that's pretty much about it um seems like there are some buttons to get in and out so let's see if we can get in there we go going inside we just have seems like oh a little monitor that's done nothing else really um oh, that's pretty cool so doors closed for us automatically. We have kind of like a charging station there. It's already marked on the map. Uh, sport and ground. We have, is that lights in the front? Yes, that's the light bars. Um, we have ground, sport, parking, drive, reverse. Okay, so reverse camera, nice. Let's put in drive. Uh, steering throttle, up down map, okay. 
So what's that? Is that still on the reverse? Okay, now it's on the map. Okay. And just like that, we're driving. Quite quick, actually. Very quick. Oops. Oh, wow. Um, can we put it in ground mode? Does that just make it more... A little bit slower, maybe? Maybe a little more grip? Ah, it's nice. It's handling quite well. Okay, let's slow it down here before I roll it because we all know what happens when I decide to drive or fly things. Um, okay, let's go and take it back, see what our battery is like. Battery's pretty full in any case. Uh, but let's go take it back to the charging station. Let's go test that out and see how that works. If, uh, okay, so got over that hump. Suspension seems pretty good, quite stiff. Um, but I think that's good. It seems like it's, it's handling. It's very sensitive too, which is really nice. So let's go and get it to the charging station here. Okay, and let's go and put it in parking. Let's go and get out. If that turn screen turns off, doesn't look like it's turned off. Seems like we have a charging port there. Is there another one on the other side? No, there isn't. Okay, I'm sure this will, hmm, let's see how much space we have. It doesn't look like we can bring it down. So I might have to just move the truck. Yeah, I'm gonna move the truck. And get it turned around here. Uh, let's open the door up. Let's go and get in again. Charging screen has gone back on. Nice design. Let's go and put it in drive. Let's go and turn it around here and we'll bring it nice and close to the recharging station. Okay, and I think that's fine. Okay, let's put it in park. Great, I love that touch screen. Okay, uh, then we can just go and grab this. Oh, that just turned on. Let's go and see if we can get it connected here. Hmm, okay, let's try again. No, it seems like it's too heavy. Let's see now. There we go. Connected. And there we go. Charge 91%. 92%. So it's just recharging it. Nice little light there. Nothing else really around there. It seems like this is like our generator unit. Nice little detail on that. But yeah, nice little truck. Um, drive's got well done. How long it's going to last for? Because we use about 10% just driving around there. It seems like it's charging 93%. Maybe it charges quicker when the battery's a little bit lower. Um, but yeah, pretty cool truck. I'm guessing this, is, this thing is just probably just filled with batteries. Yep, it is. Yeah, as you can see here, um, it's just filled with batteries. Um, really nice truck. Let's go ahead. Let's go move on to the next creation of the episode. And moving on to the next creation of the episode, we have the Horton HO229. This is done by Consecrated Monkey Brain. Now, this is meant to be a complete replica of the World War II Horton HO229. Now, looks really cool. It's got a couple cool features in there. Good top speed, about 600 kilometers per hour. Cruise speed, about 400. Um, there's a whole bunch of other cool things in there. So let's go ahead, let's spawn this and see how it flies and what it looks like inside. And spawning in the next creation, you can see this thing looks cool. It's got a really cool design to it with this like V-shape next to it. Uh, we also have, seems like some turbines, the camera. We also have the cockpit just here. We'll come back to that. Uh, we have the landing gear and some more landing gear going around. The wings, nothing much. It looks like a light, some more lights. We have the flaps here at the back and seems like we have the two exhausts here at the back. Now, I love how this thing looks at the rear. It looks really mean. Now, going up onto it, nothing else. Um, just obviously some signs or some paint signs on either side of the wings there and getting into the cockpit you can see this thing looks absolutely amazing and compact i really like how this looks um, now getting in let's see what we have so we seem to have coordinates we have altitude hold auto hold autopilots open close cabin heaters afterburner main screen Ooh, that's cool so we look like we have a gun sight and we have I'm guessing throttle um, engines might as well get that on now we also have let's see parachutes all our combustion engine things landing gear navigation lights landing lights we need those on it seems like we even have a little bit of a radio here which is quite nice um, nothing else pretty much in there let's test out the alt hold in a couple of minutes when we get this up in the air and we'll also test out our coordinates Okay, so wait for uh, this to get going here. Didn't see any brakes. Lock landing wheels park. Hmm. Don't know if that does anything. It might do. 
see if we start moving in a couple minutes or not. So, can we increase... what does that do? Can we click that? No. Okay. So, we'll wait for that to get going. Let's go and put our throttle up a bit. Okay, so our throttle's up now. Seems like our wheels are moving. Yep. Lock it. There we go. That's fine. Let's see if we can get our throttle up here. We'll lock off, see if we can start turning it here, maybe start getting it positioned out on the runway. Oh, this thing looks awesome. Look oh, how cute it looks actually. From the front, meh. From the side, really cool. From the back, absolutely amazing. See if we can just turn it here a bit. It's turning very slowly, we just increase the throttle a bit. Throttles at 72% and let's pull it, pull it out full. Okay, let's get it out and it seems like we're up. Yep, just like that. Oh, that is awesome. Let's get the landing gear. Folds away. It's tucking away. Oh, yeah, it is too. Let's get our altitude hold on at 200. Just like that. Awesome. Roll stabilizer off. And uh, we should be able to roll it now. Yeah, we can. Stand it back on. Awesome. Let's go and just reposition our autopilot here. And let's go and put the new coordinates in. And let's turn the autopilot on. Okay, so it's just going to turn now and get to that speed. What's our throttle? 100%. Nice. Oh, that's awesome. Very smooth, very nice, even so small and compact. I love it. I think we're going to have a little bit of an issue with that mountain, to be honest. Um, let's go maybe increase our throttle up to 400. And I don't even think that's going to clear it. But listen, this is an absolute. I'm going to turn off the altitude hold and the autopilot and just test it out flying. I take it, I want to take the roll stabilizer off. This is an awesome plane. Oops, up, 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 up. Okay, the up and down is quite, um, yeah, it's quite stiff. Um, but listen, absolutely awesome plane. As you guys know, I can't fly that well with planes. Um, but yeah, really cool, really nice one. Definitely go check this one out. Let's go ahead, let's move on to the next one of the episode. And moving on to the last creation of the episode, we have the Emergency Medical Center. This is done by a content creator called Sheepdog and White Noise. You both know their work on the workshop already. Now, this is meant to be a complete medical center for in-game here in Stormworks. It looks absolutely amazing from the screenshots here on the workshop. So let's go ahead, let's spawn this in and see how it works and how it looks like and what's inside. And spawning in the last creation of the episode, we have the medical center here. This thing looks absolutely gorgeous now <laughs> I don't even know where to start like here at the front we have obviously the signage here uh, really really cool seems like we have a little obviously drive through that we can drive in uh, I even love you can even see he's put the detail on the curbs here um, seems like we go straight in this looks like the emergency bay where we go straight in uh, we'll go through the looks like a front door just over here uh, what else do we have around the outside? Another emergency sign. Seems like we have like a little loading bay here, which is quite nice. Uh, some fans and things spinning nice and slowly. Looks cool. Uh, going around the back, nothing really much around the back. You can see kind of like a helicopter pad up there and along the side, nothing else. Now, these windows caught my eye straight away because those are not normal windows. Uh, this seems like we have some custom modded windows here, um, which look absolutely gorgeous. Um, really, really cool. Now, let's go and see if we can get inside here. So, going in. In, um, seems like we have is this a revolving door <gasps> it is too wow that is awesome that is absolutely awesome love the detail there um, seems like we have some couches and things even a paint blocks with some pictures and things now I have spoken to sheepdog about this creation um, apparently these pictures are actually real-life pictures that he has taken uh, and he's uploaded using the generator and put them in game so that's absolutely cool he's put a little bit of a personal touch in here so it seems like we have like a little reception area I'm going along, what else do we have? Seems we have like the ER room here, um, some medical beds, 
along with that, like a little reception or like area here. Um, we EK EKG scanners, obviously, to monitor the rooms here. Uh, we actually have the individual rooms. That is awesome. Really cool. Got some more rooms down here. Nice. And let's see down here. Another room. Really, really cool. Seems like a nice sink there. We have some dispensers and things. What else do we have? Start EKG. And power's on. Oh, that's cool. So you've got a little EKG for your person there. You can silence it if you don't like to hear the buzzing. And you can cardiac and mess mode. Oh, wow. So that's awesome. Really cool. Let's go and turn the EKG off and turn the monitor off. That's absolutely great. Love that. Seems like we have a little Stormworks medical set where there's charting software. Um, really quite nice. Love the detail here. It seems like we have critical incident. Okay. And we have, okay, we have a little light that goes out there. Is there any other lights that go on? No, just that. Okay, that's cool. What else do we have? Medical emergency, nurse presence, and core bell. Is there anything changing here? No, it doesn't look like, but that's cool. I love that. Obviously, oh, there's a light that goes on and off there. That's absolutely awesome. Um, what else do we have? Some sinks and things lights to turn them on and off some monitors here I don't know if they do anything seems like we have an elevator that goes back into the lobby area we'll come back to that in a couple minutes what else do we have let's have a look um so in here is what is in here let's get the lights on oh that's nice that is really cool okay so we have a scanner in here um with a bed that you can get in oh that's absolutely awesome what else do we have so let's move into this room seems like we have just some more kitchen stuff uh, and we have the scanner we can run it oh that's cool okay I don't know why it's wobbling around quite a bit but that is absolutely awesome um, slide patient in okay then let's put the scanner on <laughs> that's awesome that is really cool love the detail there uh, let's go and move on what else do we have room 14 okay it looks like just another room here a little bigger um, let's go see exit so we have a staircase to go up uh, we'll use the lift what's in here so this is our loading bay it looks like with a electric and refueling cool um, so what's this so it looks like a little door and okay this looks like a little generator electrical room okay with starters throttles power for everything uh, and a bit of logic and stuff in there okay that's cool let's go and get back inside here and we'll use the elevator why not so elevator we want to go up to the second floor well, that's cool nice little designed elevator going up little buzzer Doop. okay so we have door on either side let's go out the side why not so we have a liquid storage room oh that's cool got some storage for liquid nice uh staircase what's down here morgue Ooh. Oh, that's cool. That is cool. No Morgan here. Pull out the beds. Awesome. Love the detail. Oh, that's. I love the lighting also in here. That is cool. Okay, what else do we have? So, going along down this side, what's this? Door. Okay, empty room. I guess he's still working on that. Let's go and check the other side. So, quite a bit actually. So it seems like we have some more rooms and things, uh, just some more rooms, we've seen the rooms already, more rooms, more rooms, more rooms, more rooms, more rooms, and you can see these custom windows, they look awesome, they are glitching out a bit, but they're really cool. Seems like we have the staircase again, okay, so let's go up to the next level, so it's floor three, okay, white noise elevator company, so white noise, I think, to the elevators, as far as I remember, reading on the description page uh, so it seems like we're up here at the roof now um, oh that's awesome so we have a little landing pad uh, is there lights no okay we'll turn it to night time we'll see the lights um, hopefully electrical charging station we seem to have a refueling here also nothing else uh, and just some like equipment and storage and things solar panels at the top Oh, that's awesome. Love the detail on this. Really looks nice. Real realistic also. Um, what we're going to do is let's test. Let's just turn the lights off. I'm sure this is an automatic system. Yep, it is. Look at that. So we have our nice Hedo lights here. Let's go to third person. Let's check this out. 
Uh, I'm just going to put the override time off and let's go and check this out. Let's go and see this. That looks absolutely gorgeous with the lights on the helipad. pad. And there's some more lights here at the front. Oh, that's cool. So the emergency lights gone on. We have the medical center lights on there also. Oh, that is absolutely gorgeous. Really lovely creation. Definitely, definitely recommend you guys go check this out. Lights underneath there. That just looks sick. Inside lights are on. Everything is on. There's no lights here in the cargo bay here, but that doesn't matter. Um, guys, this is an absolutely incredible creation. Uh, really nice. I haven't seen one of these before. Uh, medical centers. So definitely go check this one out. And a nice one to end this episode off with. Uh, now, there was a fifth creation of this episode. Um, Theoretically, it was the charging station, but actually on the workshop, it was my chin hook that we released a couple days ago. Um, so I will be doing a separate video out on that. Definitely be sure to check out the new video coming on that very shortly. Don't forget, if you haven't already subbed, definitely go and sub and click on that bell icon to be notified as soon as that, that video comes out. Uh, hopefully you've already checked it out on the workshop, but if you haven't, stay tuned for that video. So I think we'll go ahead and end today's video over there. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and found something entertaining and informative as always. And we'll see you in the next one.